Hey guys, today after not uploading for a while, I decided to make a new video. This time, it's theoretical and practical science combined together. With that being said, of course I'm talking about strawing utility. As you could see on my previous videos, I showed you a little pieces of utility on each map. But I forgot one of my most favorite maps. Yeah, I'm talking about Overpass. And I know a lot of players hate this map, even some pro players do. For example like Nico from Fez. But if you play face it, most of the time it's gonna be either Mirage or Overpass. So it wouldn't hurt you to learn some must known Molotovs and smokes there. Without further ado, let's get right into it lads. First role we are going to learn on Overpass is B-side player, aka B anchor, aka the guy who dies first when they rush B. He's also the last guy who rotates onto the opposite side. His role is pretty self-explanatory. He has to hold sight and buy time. Achieve that by throwing good grenades and maybe get 1-2 to two kills if possible. If you want to become very good anchor, try to watch demos of professionals, such as Robs, Magisk or even Brokey. Try to analyze how they use their utility, what positions they are holding at certain situations and much more. Here are some of my pieces. This role is really important. CT that plays this role has to be pretty much on both sides at the same time. What? Let me explain. If T's decide to rush A, he's the first B player that arrives on the site. This role is also most of the times taken by star players. I play B, uh, B rotation, yeah. Can I play? No, no, B rotation is taken. Monster is left. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> so, if you want to see how pros do it, Watch Nikos, Devices or Simples demos. I prepared some grenades you can use if you wanna play this role. This role usually wins the round. It's basically the second contact on the side. That means he comes to play usually after the anchor dies. He doesn't forcibly need to be passive, especially on the other maps. On overpass, he can play for example monster and anchor short. They can boost each other, push short, whatever setup they desire and feel like it's best for them to outplay the opposite team. As you hear, there's a lot of brain involved, so it's usually the IGL who plays this role. Once again, I have to mention Astralis that do excellent job playing, well, really every role to its finest, but especially these two, Glaive and Zipnix, that can support each other really well on almost every map. Here is some utility that you can use to make your anchor's life easier. Now, let's look at some utility your A rotators can throw.
So, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this new type of videos. If so, don't forget to drop a like. If you wanna see more of this, don't forget to subscribe. I can promise, but I'll try to upload more often. Remember, what I said in this video is either from my own experience of over 5000 in-game hours or from watching professional matches. If you think something doesn't match in your opinion, don't feel bad to express yourself in comment section. This is gonna be everything from me for today. See you in the next video lads.